This summer at Blue Star, we have launched the Conservation Generation. We are the first ever beta test pilot camp for the American Camp Association, ACA. It was started by one of Blue Star's longtime camp leaders and alumnus, Avi Janagli, and now he's in the United States working with us to help spread this message of conserving water and general energy conservation and mindfulness to children. So we believe if we can drop a pebble in the lake here and start change, that pebble will send ripples out back out into the entire world and hopefully we can create a more sustainable living planet for the next generation. Can Broadway teaches teenage girls to really have confidence in yourself and just be yourself. If I didn't go to this camp, like I wouldn't know how to like be free or express myself. A Broadway is a dream of mine come true after years and years of always wanting to have a performing arts camp for girls that wouldn't necessarily be able to have that opportunity. Taking a bunch of really beautiful, independent, strong, intelligent, urban girls and giving them an opportunity to experience unity, camaraderie, friendship, sensitivity through the arts. It's really inspiring. You need to take that thing that you're most scared of in yourself and realize how beautiful it is and embrace it and explore it because that unusual thing is probably the thing that will set you apart in this world and make people pay attention to you. So this is the first week we've done Camp Corral, and we're hoping for many, many more, because it's just a great service program. It is serving military children with priority for children who have parents who have fallen, are injured or disabled in the line of duty. And we just want that unplugging and connecting. They have no cell phone service here, no electronics. They get together, they connect, they connect with nature, they connect with friends, and they connect with our staff. It's tough for them, especially when both of us are gone. I think this is a great opportunity to feel that other kids are going through the same thing. The camp is a great idea and it's done wonders over the years that have been around. We're going to camp, baby! Most of the kids that come to Crossroads are either forced to take care of their families and they, instead of going out to play with their friends, they have to be in the house and cook and clean. When the kids come here, they this very rigid out, like outer shell. And what we do is we come here and try to help them break that down and realize that you're, you're 10, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old coming in here and you're trying to act tough and you're looking up to people who are in gangs, but you don't have to do that. You have all this baggage, but you don't have to hide behind the baggage. You can just be you do you and be a kid. My past doesn't define what my future looks like and I define what it looks like. It is my path, it is where I am going and Crossroads has really taught me that. Camp Ramapo is a camp in Rhinebeck, New York that serves 500 kids each summer with a broad range of special needs. The Staff Assistant Experience is a program for young adults with mild disabilities and learning differences who aspire to independence. Through Ramapo retreats, over 12,000 people visit our Rhinebeck campus each year for intensive doses of the Ramapo approach. We get anything from school groups all the way to corporate groups. And Ramapo training is the program through which we export the Ramapo approach to the world. Ramapo creates environments where a broader range of people can experience success and environments where children and adults uh, learn how to better align their behaviors with their aspirations. The Harold Robinson Foundation had been looking for a name for our camp retreats. There was one word, and it was Ubuntu. So the general translation of Ubuntu is uh, I am because we are. We've seen such an organic growth within camp with Ubuntu. You know, our staff gets to implement it in just a very organic way. So after the first couple of retreats, we realized that 
to make the change that we wanted to, we really needed to bring up a slice of the community. We really needed to bring up parents and staff members of the schools. We're all in it together. It doesn't matter where you come from, how rich or how poor, or what kind of struggles. We're all going through life together, and to get through it, we're going to need Ubuntu. In 2010, as more research about summer learning loss became available, we wanted to find a way to help our kids learn to love reading, so we developed a book club. We knew we wanted the book club to be fun, and we didn't want to replicate the classroom experience. We identified books that were focused on outdoor adventures, and we found ways to bring to life the experiences that the characters in the book were having. We believe that when kids love reading, they're more likely to become lifelong learners and to do better in school. Kids who participate in our book club demonstrate more positive attitudes about reading. We see our kids reading, but we wouldn't have known the book club was actually effective without the research behind it.